Greetings everyone, Willie Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Thursday, January the 2nd. And we have here Consumable Purchase Station by Astria Modding, 1.94 megabytes to download. And uh, we have a set of, well, five buying stations. They're not containers, although they will be found under containers. And we'll show you how they work. Uh, they look uh, well, as you can see. Uh, some of them look familiar. Some of them look pretty much exactly like base game um, items. However, as I said, they're not containers. You can't refill them. You just buy things from them. So um, you will find them here under buildings and containers. And starting with uh, the petrol station uh, though that is three slots it is uh, you buy fuel from it uh, another does that's this one here now the next one is the um, petrol station of a different design but uh, exactly the same function uh, these are all fifteen thousand dollars to purchase as you can see this one is also three slots we're moving on to this one buying station for fertilizer seeds and lime those are the only things that you can buy from it uh, that is three slots, $15,000 to purchase. The next one is, again, a buying station for fertilizer, seeds, and lime. Exactly the same as this, just a different design. That, however, is four slots. Moving on to the last one, buying station for liquids. Uh, liquids meaning uh, herbicide, liquid fertilizer, and water uh, that is three slots. Those, of course, you can buy and put anywhere or as many as you want. They're all $15,000 each. And uh, the slots are as I mentioned now. Um, operation. You drive up to there with a uh, receptacle that is um, acceptable to hold the said liquids. This one is a, the liquid one, so... As you can see, you press the L3 when you come up to the trigger. Herbicide, water, and liquid fertilizer. Uh, it will charge you for water $100 per thousand liters. So if we go up to 10,000 10, liters, almost $1,000 for 10,000 liters. So fills fairly quickly. Uh, not terribly so. Uh, not terribly slow or fast with the uh, liquid. Um, same with the... Uh, we're going to show you the um, the solids right away. Um, prices. Uh, the water seems, well... Um, about average. Um, I, d I did some comparisons against uh, the 82 Studio, which is the gold standard for purchasing uh, at a good price. And uh, for liquids, uh, I didn't do the liquid comparison because uh, you can get water for free. So anything you have to pay for water is more than you should. Um, I didn't do liquid comparison. The Basically, the liquids, the fertilizer, and the... Uh, Fertilizer and herbicide are very close to base game pricing that you would find in the pallets of liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Maybe a little bit cheaper, but not a whole lot. It's just convenient to buy it from there if you like that style, but you're not getting a deal on it for sure. Now, as for solid, uh, the seeds, lime, and fertilizer, either one of these will seeds lime and solid fertilizer they will both dispense it at the same price there is no price difference uh, at all it's just a design uh, we will fill it with uh, oh I don't know let's fill it with uh, solid fertilizer so as you can see it's not super slow but it's not super duper quick either it's pretty much standard uh, fill rate uh, $6,400 for 4,000 liters, so that runs you about almost exactly the same as you would if you bought it in a pallet from the store. Uh, one kind of the last thing, oh yes, so the um, fertilizer, 
uh, from, uh, sorry, fertilizer from these $6,400 per thousand, or no, $6,400 for the trailer load, $4,800 from the A2 Studio. Seeds, uh, uh, $3,599 for seeds, which works out to be nearly exactly the same as base game. And lime is eight hundred ninety nine. I didn't compare that to base game, but six seventy four from the A two Studio. So, all in all, overall, the A two Studio one is cheaper. And anything you buy from here is pretty much store uh, base game standard pricing. As for the fuel tanks, uh, they are you can refill refuel from it, or well, as, it, as you can see, it's filling the tank. Uh, but you can refill your vehicle. But as you can see, the tank is... Uh, I'm refilling the back tank as we speak right now. And it is dreadfully slow. Uh, you would think they'd kind of speed that up. So what it looks like here is they've taken uh, base game items, made it a selling station, set at the same price as uh, base game pricing and the speed of fill is basically all standard nothing has been altered in that respect the only alterations is it uh, that is specify what you can buy from them um don't know what else to say there there's really nothing unique or special at all about any of this except uh, you can get it in a pack and you don't have to refill them it's just a buy point and uh, there you go that's the consumable purchase station by austria modding 1.94 megabytes to download um between three and four slots on console i'm looney farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now 